Good morning, gamers. <laughs> Cabinets, Fall Guys, Sewers, and Spiders. I'm the AMDM, this is my cup of coffee, and you're watching Bridgewater Nights. Mmm, really hot coffee this morning. All right, so as you as we last left off our <laughs> heroes, they were breaking and entering into a council member's house. Um, they proceeded to go into the library and they got attacked by some mimics. While one of them stayed outside and watched the the unconscious people. Well, a carriage pulls up. Right as the players start relaying this information back and forth, one of the cabinets starts to shake. And <laughs> out rolls a half-elf. His name is Oslar. Oslar. Uh, and... They immediately drag him along with them. And as they drag him along, um, they basically try to start thinking about setting him up as the fall guy <laughs> for the thing. Now, Osalar is the newest player. He's, a, he's the newest member of the Bridgewater Knights. Uh, Half-Elf Rogue. Who basically the players interrupted his heist. So as they drag him along, just keeping everyone together for the time being, they take him back to the trips the tipsy drow. While there, Oslar has been bumped into and receives a note. I will not discuss what was on that note. Because sometimes the players watch, and he did not relay what the information of that note was. But that note was given to him. And then the players, while he's up in the bar, the players start discussing what to do. One of the plans is to use Osolar as a fall guy. Catch him, take him in, and say, look, we caught this guy breaking in in Hamelita's house. So instead, that was, the, that was a plan for a while. So instead, they decided to go back and start investigating the sewers. Where did this undead beholder illusion to look like a dragon come from? So they convince him to take them to the sewers. Where they end up taking a long rest in the sewers. So it's been eight hours since the break-in. They proceed to head into the sewers deeper, looking for the cause of this undead beholder. So as they're marching along and being led by Oslar, who's now being called Ozzy by the group, uh, being led deeper and deeper into the into the the rat ways, the labyrinth, the thieves' way, the maze, the many names of the which are many names of the the sewer system, some which even lead to the shadow fell. So, being led deep under the city. They come across some spiders. Why not? Spiders in the sewer. Giant spiders in the sewer. So they defeat these two and then realize those two are just babies. 
Because at that point, phase spiders start to appear. Of course, the players themselves don't necessarily realize they're phase spiders until one of them phases out. The quote of the night is great. What are teleporting spiders doing in the sewer? <laughs> so they proceeded to fight the spiders. And he gets down to the last few. Ozzy gets attacked. The spider injects. Ozzy's first level. Spider does seven points. Ozzy has eight. Ozzy fails his saving throw. Again, his constitution saving throw versus uh, the poison. But luckily, the wording for the face spider saves his life. And I say this as a as a DM had the it said uh, they take. If on a failed saving throw, they take 18 points of damage. Now, granted, 18 points of damage by itself would kill this character flat out. Dead. And he'd already taken 7 points. So this character was... <laughs> time to roll up a new character. But it said, and in my interpretation of it, is... Once it hits zero, the character is stabilized, paralyzed, and poisoned for one hour. That wording saved the character's life. So, what really confused them is after he poisoned him and put him unconscious, the face spider poof, takes off. So now everyone's like, well, he's gone. <laughs> We're just going to wait and see if anything else shows up. Well, the face spider is moving, trying to move down one of the corridors. So it phases back in. And they proceed to kill the, kill the spider. They cast Healing Word. And Ozzy is back to full health. Needless to say, the guys... First time at the table with his first character, I almost killed it off. I have never killed a character that fast. But I have now, and here's here's what happens. In this game I run a deadly campaign. And I had to create a encounter that was going to be challenging both for a for a first level as well as I've got characters in the group that are 7 and 8 ninth level characters. I'm running it old school. Not bringing the new guy. He's a new guy. He's never played D&D &D before. So I had to bring him in. Let him learn his stuff up. So that's the way. That's why I did that. Two giant spiders. Giant spiders are, are level 1's. Or CR1's. Face spiders are CR3's. So it was two giant spiders and three face spiders. And it worked out well. I mean, the character was not perma-dead. Yet. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that was the adventures. So what awaits them in the sewer? How long are they going to stay? We'll find out next time on Bridgewater Nights. I like my little lie. On Bridgewater Nights. So, guys... Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every likes an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 300 uh, subscribers so I can get to second level. I want to level up. The grinding is killing me. Here goes another one. All right. <laughs> so please subscribe if you like these videos. Share them, subscribe them, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, for every video that you share, the AMDM does hereby authorize you to gain 10 experience points for your character. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. That's all I got for now. So, as you walk through the valley of the shadow of death...
No. No, that's not going to work. All right, guys. I have nothing else. That's it. So go forth and roll some dice. Good day.